Hey coach, glad you found us on YouTube. A uh, couple things, first of all, subscribe. Hit that little bell and subscribe every time you come up. My personal goal is to get to 100,000, so um, share the word, share, share everything and subscribe. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you win more games in less time, 30 plus years, lots of state championships. You can see them, some of them right here. Um, let me help you become a better basketball coach. So go over and check it out and let's head off to the video. All right. All right, let's go over some passing. So get yourself a partner. Get yourself a partner. All right. Let's go free throw lane apart. Free throw lane apart. So a partner, one ball. Free throw lane apart. Let's put all the basketballs on this side. Ready, go. So all the basketballs will be on this side. Partners lined up across, free throw lane extended. Ooh. All the basketballs are on this side. Good, spread out a little bit so Drew, you guys can come to half court here. Now with third, fourth, fifth, even sixth graders, I'm going all the way down to the fundamentals of what a pass looks like. Okay, take a step off of your lane line, guys. Step off your lane line. Good. Okay, the other thing is, I really teach um, three passes. I think three, maybe it's four. Okay, two hand overhead, chest, and bounce. Those are the pa passes that I focus on. We try to limit, and this came from when I spent my time in Coach Ryan's gym, one handed push passes or one handed floating passes. We try not to use those at all. One of the exceptions is, and if some of you did see my JV team last year, is when there's a backdoor slip, dribble that backdoor slip, that can be a one-hand pocket pass. But it needs to be on a line, it needs to be direct. Okay? When we talk about passing, it's twofold. It's not just the guy with the ball that has responsibility, it's also the person that's receiving the ball. All right? We need to always jump and meet the basketball, shin it, and get into triple threat. We want to jump stop, I do it with two feet, because it gives me my choice of pivot feet. Okay? As a passer, my responsibilities, and you need to give hand targets as the recipient of the pass. Okay, you have to have your hands up ready to catch it. As the passer, my focus is I need to step to my target to get some, uh, some power behind that ball, and then depending on the pass we're throwing, my thumbs are gonna do different stuff. Okay? So the first one I want us to practice is two-hand overhead. Now what you'll see a lot of people do with the two-hand overhead is that right there. They're bringing the ball behind their head because they've either played soccer or they've watched some soccer on TV. We are not throwing the ball in in the UEFA Champions League. Okay? The ball stays in front of your forehead. If you bring it back here, what comes and happens? Yeah, and not just somebody. Don't worry, I was in your shoes. It's usually the little guy that gets behind. You bring the ball here, boom, we're ripping it, we're going the other way and we're scoring a layup. Okay? So we are stepping to our target, balls forward, and we are finishing with our, th our thumbs down and out. Down and out. All right. Uh, two hand overheads. Here we go. Good, good, good. Now recipients, freeze. Boom. You did the closest thing to what I want to see. Okay? When you catch it, I physically want you jumping to the ball, catching it with two hands, and we're right in a triple threat position. Okay? That should be every single time. And coaches sometimes, and I myself am one of this, sometimes we fall asleep on this. Again, if we are not practicing good habits, we are reinforcing the bad ones, because this is all muscle memory. That's what this is. A jump stop and an in triple threat is something that is just trained to the body. Shouldn't even have to think about it. So I want to see good jump stops, good triple threat. Here we go, three and overhead. Good, jump to the ball, meet it, triple threat, chin the ball, don't bring it down low. Remember, we are stepping on our pass. We are stepping to make our pass. Good, get low, chin it, get low and chin it. Good, freeze. Let's do a chest pass next. Chest pass, probably the oldest in the book, we're stepping, thumbs go down and out on a chest pass as well. I'm aiming for the hashtag on that shirt. That's my goal. Okay, take a step back. Good. We're jump stopping, catching, chin in. Here we go, chest. Good, now the only thing I'm not hearing when I'm in the gym is talking. So whenever I do a passing drill, you have to use the person's name. Boom, I heard it. 
and you need to yell it. Now I've been in enough classrooms in middle school to know that you're loud. For some reason when we enter the gym, we get quiet all of a sudden and I haven't figured that one out yet. Okay. Good phrase. Let's throw two and bounce passes now. Two and bounce passes. The key to this pass, I'm thinking about going two thirds of the way and that's where I'm trying to bounce the ball. Okay, does that make sense? The other thing is I want to down and out with my thumbs so it throws backspin on the ball and it kicks it up nice and soft so they can catch it in the shooting pocket. All right, everything else stays the same. Two hand bounce pass, here we go. Good. Remember recipients, you are jumping to meet that ball. There's some good yelling right there. Good, 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 and freeze. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Second all, go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach, win more games in less time. Teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that. Go over and check it out and go check the next video out. Bye.